and you're very welcome to this video. This is our third video in our series on Uniform Managing for Leaving Cert Business. And in this video today, we're going to look at what internal recruitment is and the benefits of internal recruitment. So, what is internal recruitment, do you think? Pause the video there and have a think about it. Why break it down, what the words are. Internal, internal, and recruitment. Jot down a few ideas, and when you're ready, press play to continue. So, internal recruitment involves filling a vacant position from existing staff within the firm. So basically you're employing, you're filling a position from the staff you already have. The vacancy is advertised using internal communication methods, such as using a notice board, email, newsletter, etc. Will you talk more about, uh, you, you just, sorry, in Unit 3, you would have looked at internal and external communication methods. So, there's a little link back there. Okay, so now that we know what internal recruitment is, and that's an important word to know, we're going to look at the benefits of internal recruitment. So, pause the video there now and have a little brainstorm. What do you think the benefits of internal recruitment are to a firm? When you're ready, press play to continue. So, one is morale, okay? Um, if you're recruiting within the business, so if you think for yourself, okay, internal recruitment would often be for a managerial position or for a higher up job, that's going to boost morale as staff have the opportunity to climb up the ladder, uh, giving them career progression, so to speak, or be able to move into different roles within the uh, firm, maybe even at the same level. This can act as a motivator and strengthen employee commitment to the business. Another benefit is internal knowledge. If you're employing someone from within the firm, they know how the firm operates. They know the operating procedures and the safety, health and safety guidelines and, and that type of stuff. So there's, very, there's no need to retrain them. So therefore, there's very little cost of induction of this staff. Another benefit is labour or staff turnover. If you are employing from within the firm, it reduces the amount of labour and staff turnover, turnover as staff are likely to stay there because they have the chance of getting promoted in the firm. So they don't have to move to another firm in order to get uh, a promotion. This is good for a firm and good for the human resource department as well because it reduces their cost in induction training um, within the firm as well. Also, it helps to maintain good and stable relationships in the firm. Another benefit is minimal disruption. Um, there's less disruption within the business as it's quicker, easier and cheaper to fill a vacancy. Management already know the people that work in the firm. They know what they're like. They know their skills, capabilities, how they get on. Um, so that means they know if someone will be suitable to a particular role or not. Next, what we have is the cost. It is much, much cheaper to actually uh, to do internal recruitment than external recruitment. Because you already know the people, uh, there's less steps involved in the recruitment process. You don't have to advertise the job quite so widely. Uh, there's less time filtering through uh, applications, etc. Um, so that brings us to the end of this video where you've now learned what internal recruitment is and the benefits of internal recruitment. If any questions, ask below in the comments and please give the video a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel for more interesting videos like this on Leaving Cert Business and other similar subjects. Thanks very much for watching. See you again in the next video. Bye now.